Heisenberg? Oh, Heisenberg, yes. Well, I have a very high view of Heisenberg. When you look at Heisenberg's, well, everybody knows uh, Heisenberg's contribution to physics, uh, from uh, the uncertainty principle, from the basis of quantum mechanics to uh, paramagnetism, the uh, S-matrix. Uh, I mean, there's a list of important contributions yeah. Is, is it true, uh, now the question for you, is John Wheeler started as matrix before Heisenberg? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Maybe very, very good. And uh, he always got the, I mean, a typical example, uh, yeah, then the helium, you know. The That's helium right. It's been, uh, the, uh, the, the, he always, a typical example is ferromagnetism. Now, if you, a separate calculation of ferromagnetism will give you a, the negative result, you know, the interaction between atoms would not make the spin spiral up. But he had this intuition, he said, well, it will come out right, you know, as it did. And uh, he, uh, of course, sometimes in, in the later years, he uh, made mistakes. This world formula was not a good thing, but on the whole, he's probably one of the most productive physicists about Einstein. I know. And uh, I also liked him very much as a character. And uh, of course, he was very attached to German culture. He was not a Nazi, as many people maintain. He was against the Nazis, against the anti Semitism. He was not a hero, that is true, but he uh, resisted Nazi influence. He tried to maintain, you see, teaching relativity, uh, quantum mechanics, which were considered as Jewish physics, and uh, he succeeded in doing so, and there were other people do this. And uh, on the whole, I like his own expression. And he, and people said, why don't you come to America? You can easily get a very good job. He said, no, no, I want to be back in Germany to create islands of decency uh, within this stable regime. That's what he did. And he's often very misunderstood. For example, he was here in America in 39, just before the war broke out in Europe. And uh, at that time, of course, everybody asked him about what he thinks of the war and asked him, do you think the Germans are going to lose? And he always, he said, the Germans are going to win this war. And this, many people are approaching for this, but there are, there are only people who never lived under a dictatorship. Because when, if Heisenberg has said the Germans are going to lose the war, which he actually believed, he would be arrested and his family persecuted. Because when Heisenberg says anything, it comes into the newspapers. And uh, people do not understand that. People who never lived under fascism or communism don't know what that means. They get the lie. And uh, on the whole, I would defend Heisenberg as uh, he, he did not uh, want Germany to develop the nuclear bomb. Of course, there were good reasons for not developing it because Germany didn't have the industrial capacity to do it. But on the whole, he did not want it. He was afraid of this. Actually, he wanted no, non, no development of the world, neither in the West nor in Germany. And uh, but that, of course, did not come that way. So I, I am and, uh, it's very sympathetic. This is taped on June 17 during the visit of Professor Weisfeld to the Institute for Advanced Physics Studies in La Jolla, California.